What is up team? Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do something very interesting. I'm gonna be showing you how to make body soap, you know, soap you can really actually lather yourself up with, with used vegetable oil that came from an Asian food restaurant. They probably made shrimp tempura with it. All right, to get started, uh, making soap is a really interesting process. It's very technical. Uh, you would think you just mix a bunch of stuff together and boom, boom, bam, you get soap. Um, kind of like Fight Club, it's not really quite like that. The ingredients are the same for Fight Club, but it, it's not how it's done. There's actually very specific chemical formulas that you mix together in order to get soap that actually works functionally. And so it's a very specific formula. And so I found this formula online um, and it, it requires this, which is our oil that I actually got from a grease collection place. I don't know what restaurant it came from. They kept that very confidential. Um, and I don't know, uh, you just told me that it's very pure. So you can't make soap just from soybean oil. You can, but it's really flaky. So I have this extra coconut oil um, that I had when I made my first batch of soap ever that I worked, that I actually gave to the Smosh Squad. They really liked it. And so I'm gonna give this soap to the Smosh Squad too, but I'm not gonna tell them that I used grease that came out of a deep fryer. It's just our little secret, okay? <laughs> All right, so first things first, safety. Um, you're working with caustic materials, so you're working with sodium hydroxide. Um, I like to wear flannel, button it all the way up, and wear goggles. Safety number, that's right, I'm a fan of crazy Russian hacker. Safety is not bumper. Our recipe calls for these things. So this goes in stages, all right. So we're gonna start with stage number one. The formula calls for this. 100 grams of our soy, right there. Or sorry, 1,000 grams. Then we have 500 grams of our coconut oil, boom. 490 grams of water, and then 243 grams of lye. We're going to add our sodium hydroxide to our water. Now, I'm gonna do that over here, which is right above my stove, um, in this makeshift fume hood. So when I turn this on, it sucks up all the uh, the air right there because when we add the water to this, the, when we add the sodium hydroxide to the water, it produces chemicals that um, you don't want to breathe in and not good for your lungs. So, what I like to do is I like to kind of just like sprinkle it in. Stir it in until it gets like a cloudy color. So, we're going to wait for that to get back down to about 100 and then we're going to mix our solution. Now, the guy that I got this from said, he said, You're lucky really pure stuff. He was right, look at it. There's nothing in there, there's nothing floating in there, there's no like egg rolls floating in there, there's no like, that's some really pure grease. It smells like Chinese food too. Does it smell like Chinese food? <laughs> it does smell like Chinese food. Gosh, what a weird looking. So strange. Okay. Go ahead and mix this in slowly, very slowly. Okay, duck. Okay, this is like one of the trickiest parts of this whole shebangadang. You can literally do this. You can like hand stir it, but that's like hand stirring ice cream. It's gonna take forever. What you're gonna do is stick this down in there, and you're gonna like you're gonna turn it on, and it's gonna swirl all around and whatnot. You're gonna go pretty gently at first, and you're gonna get into it. Now you want to keep doing this until it gets to what is known as trace trace is actually what it is it is called when the this like gelatinous goo is starting to solidify and it's like the, the moment right before it's like too solid to pour and it kind of looks like mayonnaise and the way you can tell is that you can dip it in there and it, when it drips off of the top of this little thing right here it kind of like splats it doesn't really do like the full liquidy type absorption thing so this takes i don't know 10 minutes or so and so I'm gonna get in there and stir it all around and whatnot, and then I'm gonna give it a little zoop zoop. What's taking place, by the way, is the process of its soponification. Oh, I think, uh, 
I think we're there, gentlemen. This is Trace. Right, it moves and it doesn't go exactly to a flat surface tension. Okay, that's official. That's a Trace. Pour it in there like custard. Fill right up in the top. Okay, here we go. It's our Chinese soap. Okay, one of the things that I forgot to mention is that you have to cut the soap <laughs> while it's still soft. So it's only been about 48 hours, and so I'm gonna go in the cabinet where I've been letting it cure. Before it gets too hard, you gotta cut it into little chunks. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these out of here. Okay, got, got our soaps. Looking pretty soapy, pretty nice. This part's actually kind of tough um, because you have to get it out of the mold, right? And you want to make sure you don't damage your soap too much. Okay. We're just gonna break the container. It was a good little container while it lasted. That side did not want to participate. Okay, so there we go. As, as easy as that. <laughs> See, you know what we could probably do? Is we could probably mold this into a shrimp because that's basically what this was used for, was creating tempura. So here, I'll make a little shrimp. Oh, Looks that's... like a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into chunks. Real simple. Nothing fancy here. Just gonna do straight squares. You can see on the side here how it's carrying up top and then on the inside it's a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the cabinet for about a week and then every seven days I'm gonna flip it for another 30 days. That's what I'm gonna do. Still smells like Chinese food. <laughs> oh yeah, very much so. Okay, I got the squad here. Yo. Mr. Shane Top. That's right. Mr. That's Mi not Mr. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> no, still wrong. So, everyone has agreed thus far to be a part of the experiment. Is that, is that correct? That is correct. All right, and so the experiment is I have over here soap that has been made from a mystery ingredient. And all I need from you guys is to just guess what is in the soap. So you can take each one of these. You want us to guess to, what's in here? Take a chunk, Not yet, though. Yeah. We have to shower with it. Oh, the shower with it and then guess? You can like wash your hands with it. You can kind of do whatever you want, really. Look at these bananas. You can eat it. Yeah, yeah, that's like what we had at the end there. So, I'm sure it just looks it great. It smells so good. Yeah. Wait, so um, I have, I know what's in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't guess yet. You have to use it first. You have to use it first. Oh, no, 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 well, look at that, look how well that lathers. I'm actually really impressed by that. I used it myself. I actually I had a lather sesh yesterday. Nice. You made some real nice soap. Did yeah. you use it just on your hands or all over? Uh, I actually used that just on my hands. Okay. You could use okay. it all over. Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah. Just yeah. body soap? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. What's in the soap? Okay, all right. <laughs> What's so. in the soap? <laughs> Banana. We okay, we're gonna so go. Many things. I got guess. Taro I guess ginger. Ginger. And there We've might be a Play trace of Play-Doh. Play-Doh. I guess. Flaxseed. It probably is a ginger because of the sensation. Well, I think there could be a lot of things in it, but there's one that you specifically want yeah, us to guess. Yeah. That we have yet to be able to guess. Right. So it has not been guessed yet. So now, the way that soap is made is it is made with oils. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So what oil did I use to make this soap? You already guessed one of them. You were talking oh, about peanut oil. oil, coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of them. Oil. Um, like a cashew or a vanilla extract. No, there was some other oil. That'd be that like a peanut, some right? essential oil. Okay, okay, give it one last smell, and then I'm gonna tell you. Like olive oil. Play-doh. Or... Okay, so this is what I did. I went to a Chinese food restaurant, and I asked to take all of the grease out of their deep fryer, and I mixed it with coconut oil. And I made soap. Oh! Wow. Yeah! What? That's a thing? Yes, so you can actually make soap from deep fried, like like from the fryer. So like where they make tempura, that's actually a little okay. shrimp. What? what? <laughs> Wait, we, that was a joke! Oh. Wait, as what? a joke, I said yeah. that it was shrimp soap though. Damn. Yeah. Nice job. Yep. So you well got done. Well experiment done. completed. I gotta that admit, was... deep fried, like a Chinese food deep fryer. 
Never was gonna Never. guess that. <laughs> Never. Never was gonna guess that. So we got Chinese food soap right there. Oh.